Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 30th, 2019, our last trading day of the month. So let's take a look at what's going on in the market. Yesterday, we had a couple new records made. We had um, the the diamonds just kind of floating around. But let's take a look at the at the uh, what the charts have to say and let's set aside our bias of what we want the market to do and let's take a look at what the market is telling us it's doing so first off we um, looking at the diamonds here we see we have the diamonds holding above a key support this is an important support right now for the Dow having held um, that on uh, last week, um, held last week after a gap down, um, we're doing pretty well here and just kind of climbing a little bit of a wall of worry. Now, right now we have this uptrend and you can see we're, we're trading underneath that uptrend, but we're trading in this little sideways potential zone so anything in here i think is okay we do want to watch this pretty care pretty darn carefully because if we were to happen to fail here if we were to break down this would constitute a lower high in here and break us possibly lower and we do not want to see us lose this price support Okay, so keep an eye on that. Now, there's certainly a possibility that we continue to move on higher and we work to test this um, upper resistance area up here. And I got to tell you, I, I, I lean toward that just because, you know, the uh, S&P 500 has already broken out to new highs. The Q's has broken out to new highs. And I just can't imagine that uh, the institutions, the, the bulls are going to let um, this um, continue to languish here without finding some way to push this through to new highs and perhaps it's the earnings that uh, season that will continue to push that up right now as we talk the Dow futures are um, looking at a 22 point gap up looking to gap just slightly higher this morning and so we'll have to wait and see but we do have a mix of futures this morning and we'll have to kind of keep that in mind asian markets last night had a struggle they had um, manufacturing numbers that came in less than expected adding some more concern to this whole idea of, of global growth problem you know yesterday we had that that news out in europe that kind of suggested that so Asian markets closed mostly lower overnight and European markets this morning are just kind of floating around flat. They are, however, mostly in the red. And so we'll have to consider that um, as the morning um, progresses here. And I think anything is possible yet this morning. And I mean anything is possible. We have nearly 350 companies reporting earnings today. So a really big round of earnings with a lot of those earnings coming flying in this morning. So we're gonna see lots of potential price movement around uh, the market here. Now, very early this morning, we had GE report, and GE reported a better than expected earnings report, and we're gapping up about 7% here on GE. Now that report immediately um, had a futures reaction moving um, the, the Dow futures higher and we've seen kind of uh, uh, the markets move higher even though GE is no longer in the Dow, it, it, it actually moved the Dow market. So interestingly enough, those futures are really starting to pop and move around this morning. Anything is possible and we're gonna have to really stay focused to be flexible um, about what this market open would, would mean. And now, typically with the FOMC meeting starting today, typically the market would be light and choppy price action as we wait for the FOMC decision Wednesday afternoon. 
with all of these earnings reports, I don't think we can count on that. Um, but we shouldn't uh, rule out that possibility as well. We could see lots and lots of price activity here in the morning after the uh, the morning open. We get that morning rush going on and then just see the market kind of die on the vine. That is certainly possible. Now remember, after the bell today, we have Apple reporting. So um, we could see the market kind of pause and wait for that big you know, tech bellwether to um, to issue its report. So it uh, could be really interesting, could be a very, very challenging day. And I would say if you're a new trader, if you're an inexperienced trader, um, it may be better to just stand aside because it's going to be very, very difficult to grab onto or hold any edge in this market because of the potential of these big gaps and big overnight reversals that could occur. So we'll want to pay attention um, really carefully, plan our trading very carefully, and think um, carefully about the risk that you're taking. One of the things that um, used to cause me a lot of problems is all of the hype and energy around an earnings event. I would find myself over trading um, in this environment rather than just kind of setting back and waiting uh, to see what's going to happen, jumping into the fray and oftentimes having my head handed to me. So watch out for that and be very careful. Now let's take a look at, quick look at the SPY, SPY, breaking to new highs. Um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this trend. There should be, there's nothing here that says bearishness whatsoever. The only thing that gives us that little concern is we know once we break out, there's always that possibility to to pull back then and test support so we have to be very vigilant in staying focused on the price action and watching very very closely how this price is going to develop here um, if we happen to stumble we could see some quick selling or profit taking coming in but right now there's nothing here that suggests bearishness uh, the bulls are clearly in control we're breaking to new record highs and this morning um, we're pretty much flat in the s p futures so we'll want to just keep an eye on that and if we consolidate up here over toward this trend that would be just as good a nice little tight resting consolidation over here toward the trend that's a good sign as well so don't get concerned if we just kind of chop around a little bit up here let's take a look at the cues cues um, a beautiful beautiful trend nothing here in this trend suggesting bearishness yet um, no clues to a failure and if we look right here we've had this nice breakout and we've continued to progress right on through and what's good about that is we've held on to this trend now one thing i will say is that uh, with the nasdaq is we've been up so many days in a row it would not be a surprise to see um, a pullback of some kind and this morning we're getting a little bit of a gap down um, on the cues. So kind of keep an eye on that if we kind of catch a little bit of selling in here. But remember, this will be dramatically affected by that Apple report. Anything is possible here. So um, what we need to do is kind of pay attention to this support area. As long as we can hold above there, I think we're in great shape um, here in the in uh, the cues. So watch that close if we happen to fail that we could have some trouble ahead but as long as we can hold on to that i think we're going to be fine let's take a look at iwm iwm actually following through now yesterday moving higher we've got a nice little trend going on here struggled a little bit as it came up here and slammed into uh, that price resistance that's where we've struggled before so we'll have to keep an eye on iwm and right now um, no particular clues that we're going to fail. Um, this trend is holding up. So you, as you can see, what looks like this morning, we're getting just a tiny gap up to retest that high, uh, that resistance high up there. And we'll have to watch that close today. Um, just kind of in the light of the uh, Asia markets selling off, European markets being a little bit weak. 
Um, we can certainly fuel up completely and ignore everyone else in the world and, um, based on our earnings reports, as long as those earnings reports continue to come in strong. So um, just, just that little bit of caution out there floating around that we have to uh, pay attention to. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday had a little bit of increase, but really nothing here that would suggest that fear is creeping into the market yet. We are holding on to this price support, at least at the moment. So holding on to this price support suggests we're down here toward the lower end of things and that we could start seeing some of that profit taking or fear coming in. But there's nothing here yet that suggests it's ready to start. We could easily trade lower and maybe even break down through here if those earnings reports continue to come in strong. So the VIX fear is definitely in the downtrend. There's nothing here suggesting uh, um, a, a major increase in fear um, at all in the VIX. But it is worth keeping an eye on and one will want to watch pretty closely as the days go forward with all of the volatility that we are likely to experience in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. That four-week new high, new low ratio. You can see T2122 continued to push higher yesterday. And we've pushed ourselves back up here toward this bearish reversal zone. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to see a fall here. What it, it tells us is we're up in that area where we want to be very watchful of the price action. We can certainly continue to move on higher. There's room to go on up. But we want to be watchful of, of that price action just in case uh, some kind of a failure pattern does come into play. So keep an eye on that as we press up toward those upper limits up here in T2122. Now also keep in mind, it is possible we move, can move up into here and we can stay here for a period of time. So just because we're moving up into this area doesn't necessarily mean that we uh, it's just a mandatory collapse from that point on. That's not what I'm saying. Just be watchful of those price patterns up here as we approach those areas. What this really tells us is we have a little bit of room to the upside we've opened a big door potential to the downside so kind of just keep that in mind as you plan um, your risk as you move forward let's take a look um, at our economic calendar today we have a few things that can really move us around today we don't have any of those super major reports you know that they they uh, pop here in red like the FOMC announcement which is uh, highlighted in red but we do have a few things that can move us around today um, we have um, employment costs we have S&P core logic we have Chicago PMI consumer confidence and pending home sales so all of these on the economic calendar today we have a a rough economic calendar this week so all of these reports could have some effect if 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 we happen to catch one that's um, slightly bearish um, in, in light of what we've seen happen in, in Europe yesterday and, and um, China um, overnight um, that could have an effect so let's kind of keep an eye on those reports I don't expect a whole lot of price action I think everyone's going to be focused more on earnings but we we always want to make sure that we are remembering those kind of reports are coming out and they can have an effect on the market so watch those close remember the FOMC meeting starts today so a typical market will see um, a lot of light choppy price action after the morning rush is over but um, with so many earnings reports, that's likely not going to be the case today. We can probably be, probably be more expecting um, higher volatility as a result of all of these earnings reports. So with that, on the earnings calendar, we had about 350 companies reporting earnings today. And those numbers have been increasing uh, for the rest of the week. Uh, we have over 350 tomorrow. We have over 400 reporting on Thursday. So we have a huge amount of companies reporting, and that can certainly um, create some havoc in the price action of these charts and we need to be very focused on those earnings reports and paying attention to each and every company that we're thinking about buying 
or or um, those that we're holding as we approach those earnings. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much to those of you who do that. I do try to answer all of those um, um, comments. I, I must admit, I'm, I'm struggling keeping up sometimes um, answering all of those, but I'm doing the best job I possibly can to answer all of those comments and thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that it helps the algorithm show these videos to more people and that is the goal here to just really do uh, the best job without all the hype without all the prediction just looking at the market and doing a better job of preparing for the day so um, that's what the purpose of these videos are. And uh, this channel is all about traders helping traders. So if you have some ideas for uh, video content or anything that I could put together to maybe help you, please feel free to share that in the video uh, in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear that. Everyone, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up for potential trades. You know, um, one of the things I like to do is just uh, put aside a little bit of time to look at potential trade ideas but I want to remind everyone that none of these are a recommendation to buy or sell um, anything they are an idea um, that's setting up in a chart that needs a, a continued evaluation by you to find out whether or not this trade fits you and it's also um, um, just a method of, of, of taking the time to show how I look at a chart, um, how I look for those setups, how I look for those trades, and the technical analysis around them. So kind of keep in mind it has a bit of a dual purpose here. Let's take a look at LUV. LUV popping up here nice um, yesterday, showing some strength in the price action. And we have a really nice pattern here. This is what I call, or what's called a wedge pattern. You can see where we have wedged ourselves in this price, right up against price resistance, challenging that, so, um, our trend continues to hold. And then yesterday we pop through. Now, don't be too surprised. When we pop through a trade like this, don't be too surprised if that continues to move back toward the trend, do a little more consolidating to move back toward its trend. Um, stocks tend to like tend to move off of their trend. So let's watch that here. Now it's also possible that this changes that trend trajectory here and moves on through. So watch this closely. LUV looking pretty good in this price pattern and I would place a target probably right up in this area, the next um, upside target and then um, beyond that. So you can kind of see some of my trade planning on the chart already in um, LUV, a nice looking chart. Um, potentially setting up. Take a look at PAYX. PAYX, really nice looking chart. It's been trending beautifully. So we have this beautiful uptrend moving on in this nice pop and this nice tight consolidation. Now, this is what I call a pop out of the box pattern. Now, the pop out of the box pattern requires a minimum of four days in a very tight sideways consolidation. So you can see we have that nice tight sideways consolidation and the number one requirement is it has to be in a trend. So you can see we had one right here. There's four days in that nice tight consolidation. And what we do is we wait for that price action to pop on through. We wait for those buyers to prove that they're going to push this on up. We catch those trades to move, uh, move on through. And that's a really nice price pattern. And it's just one of those continuation patterns that repeats itself over and over and over. And you can see it in the chart here in multiple places, how it has just repeated itself over and over and over in those little uh, consolidating periods and popping on through. Let's take a look at um, another chart that could be setting up for that, but unfortunately it reports earnings today after the bell, so we wanna keep an eye on it. Don't rush into this, but MDLZ, nice little pop out of the box pattern, uh, multiple days in a tight consolidation as it was waiting for that earnings report. And you can see yesterday started to creep up just a little bit, 
and this morning kind of getting an indication that will it will creep just a little bit higher now we're gonna have to wait on the earnings report on this but we have a very nice pattern here in MDLZ so keep an eye on that uh, chart it's one to just watch and put on your list to pay attention to take a look at LMT LMT guys beautiful gap on earnings we move up strongly here and then notice we get this really nice controlled sideways pullback that is a beautiful chart setup and as long as we can hold this price support right in here that big gap up and we move this toward this trend over here watch for a buy signal to occur this is one of those setups where we're we're up here above our resistance highs we're we're doing really nicely in this chart and this nice little controlled pullback um, gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling that we could find that buy signal right in here in the next few days and those buyers picking this up off of that trend and moving this stock higher so keep that in mind here's a great example of a chart that did just exactly that and that's lulu if you take a look at lulu Lulu did ex just exactly that gap up on earnings this nice little controlled pullback and rest and notice how we've just kind of stepped this chart right up now Lulu is also potentially setting up for another trade Lulu moved up nice little tight consolidation in here as this moves over toward its pr trend we want to watch for those buyers to step up in here someplace and start showing us signs that we want to move higher so keep that one in mind and put that one on your list and last but not least here today let's take a look at Nike Nike is definitely setting up for some upside potential now this one doesn't report until 627 so we've got about a month in this trade and notice we have this um, beautiful uh, trend in this chart nice little trend up here holding on to it very well moved up nice that little pullback and now rest right here at that price resistance we want to watch and wait see if those buyers can step in popping this back through that resistance and maybe giving us that opportunity for that upside move here in Nike and I would suggest if it can move out of here I, I honestly stocks really like those big round numbers if we can pop out of here and get above that 90 area in the chart, I would think uh, Nike would have a tremendous potential to go to 100. It's just one of those natural numbers that draws uh, to a chart. So watch this close if that can pop on up out of there. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And again, I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time, please remember to click that subscribe button and um, click that thumbs up button. I truly appreciate it. And with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best in profits today. Take care of yourself and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. FOMC. FOMC day. Take care, everyone.